to Dr. Alex. Now, Senator Gallagher, did you have some questions? Now, I just have, and I'll just preface this. This is this is a, a matter of air services expenditure at Brisbane Airport, which is currently a proposal before the Parliament. Mm -hmm. Now, it relates to CASA's application in respect to uh, <coughs> MOS 139H. Have you got someone here who understands that regulation? I'm sure we do. I'm sure we have someone who understands Okay, so under your regulations, and there's no ambiguity about this, Mr Carmody, this is right in your remit. Under your regulations, firefighting and aviation rescue services must be positioned to enable a response within three minutes to any point of the runway to maximise clearly the opportunity to perform rescues. The International Civil, Civil Aviation Organisation recommends that fire stations are cited to be enabled to response within two minutes. What has been the situation for the last 15 years at Brisbane Airport with the air service facilities? Have they complied with your regulations? Uh, thank you, Senator, for the question. I'll pass on to Mr Teedy, um, who hopefully will be able to answer your question. Thank you, uh, Senator. Uh, good morning, everybody. Andrew Teedy, manager for air navigation, airspace and, uh, and aerodromes. Um, I have no uh, awareness that this matter has been subject to non-compliance action through um, CASA's normal surveillance. It's an ongoing surveillance program for um, 320 uh, airports. Brisbane's one of those. Um, to give you a fulsome answer, I'd like to check the record and see if there has been a, a non-compliance raised on this matter. If there is, it, uh, it should have been addressed in the normal way. Okay, so you're not aware of the uh, air services seeking approval to build another uh, firefighting and rescue service at Brisbane Airport? Um, I'm aware that there's a second runway going in at Brisbane, and Thank that will you necessitate. For that. Most a, of the travelling public's aware of a second yeah, and runway. And that will necessitate, going in. Um, um, in the in the uh, development work, it appears that that will necessitate a satellite fire station in order to meet that three-minute response time. So you are aware of the second runway and and your role in this area. Yes. And are you able to give this committee? an assurance that the guidelines of your regulations and the ICAO resolutions will be met? The, yes. Uh, the, the, um, Are they presently being met? The, um, I don't have before me an application to construct a, a satellite fire station. I expect that there will be one. Air services are doing the research work to determine the time taken from, from various locations on that aerodrome to reach the outer extremities of the new development. Okay, and, well, uh, I don't want to hold this committee up today because there is another committee of the Parliament looking at this. But I would have thought that if there is a substantial expenditure of taxpayers' money, there is an additional runway at you know one of the busiest airports in Australia, Brisbane, Sydney and Melbourne, they don't come any busier than those three, that CASA would have had the investigation done signed off that the regulations are going to be complied with and that would be supplied to the appropriate committee of the parliament which then authorises the expenditure. Because why would the Public Works Committee have to go down a path of finding out whether another uh, entity, GBE, whatever you want to call it, Air Services, is complying with CASA's regulations? Isn't that what you people do, Mr Carmody? That is, uh, sir, what, what we do in terms of the new fire station, air services well, will develop if that's a proposal what you do, and bring Sorry, I'm forward. short of time. If that's what you do, can you confirm you have signed off, along with air services application to the Public Works Committee, on these regulations? Have you or have you not? We have not before us an application for a satellite fire station. I haven't signed anything. So there we have air services which are responsible for the travelling public above the ground and CASA is in that space and you're also responsible for the emergency response and you don't talk to each other. Is that the evidence that I'm hearing today? That's not... If I may, we do talk to each other quite a lot. I think what the officer is saying is that, it, that air services have not yet provided, not yet applied. They are, they are required to comply with Part 139H. Yes. They have, they have not yet put a proposal to us which would indicate that they are going... That, that they are going to comply with Part 139H. Our expectation is that they will. The regulated entity. The application entity. for funding is currently before the Parliament. I, I, re I realise that, Senator. It's not that Thank is you, not Senator my. That's not my process, yeah, Senator. Yeah, if I may. Can I just 
tidy up on yeah. this a little bit, they, they'll never be able to function unless they meet the regulation. Correct. Right? That's correct. They will, they and, will not and, be able to function. And, uh, I, I'm, I don't want to diminish the line of question by my colleague, but there's a little bit of chicken and egg here there in terms of their processes, which will ultimately lead to them making an application to you, which will be considered in line of the existing international standards. And at that point, you'll no. tick, tick or cross. Now, the point, Senator Chair, is that the application is currently before the parliament. Now, I'm simply saying that two responsible safety regulators and agencies should have had their ducks in a row before the application for funds come to the parliament. I think that's just prudence, due diligence, proper governance. So my question to you, Mr Carmody, is you haven't, and I don't mind who's at fault here, but someone is at fault, either air services or yourself, because the current application before the parliament doesn't satisfy the regulations. Well, I expect them to comply with the regulations, Senator. It's straightforward. So what would you expect the Parliamentary Works Committee to do to hope that you're going to get your act together or, or to have it demonstrated to them? So I, uh, with respect, Senator, I don't think I haven't got my act together. I haven't had an application from Air Services to put up a fire station that will have to comply with Part 139H. I expect we will get one. I expect it will be compliant. OK. Are we currently compliant? Our, I think the current, the current fire station is compliant, to Can we get to, to, a, to a rescue situation in two minutes? with one fire track, given that there is no hydrant ability on air runways. It's three minutes. Yeah. You've got four, two minutes four. with ICAO, four. three minutes with... Mm. Our, our regulation is three minutes. Three minutes. The ICAO is a recommendation yes. for two minutes. We follow the, the standard, the requirement, which is three minutes. We've set a standard at three minutes, Senator. That's the standard that applies in Australia. And, and your evidence is that the situation at Brisbane Airport currently complies with that? My understanding is the situation at Brisbane currently complies. And a nod doesn't come onto the hand side, Mr. Okay, it is my uh, yes. I, I believe that Brisbane Airport does comply. All right, thank you. Thanks, Chair. Thank you. Uh, now, um,